Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to thank you all for the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. Have you ever wondered why you're attracted to certain types of people? What it is that draws you into someone? Is it their look, their smile, the confidence they exude? Well, for years, researchers have studied the science of attraction, looking into why and how certain factors can affect how appealing you are to others. There are subtle cues your body sends out to express attraction and also to attract others. Things such as your body language and the pitch of your voice can have an impact. So here are nine psychological facts about attraction. Number one, scent plays a larger role than you think. Were you ever attracted to someone because of their scent? Odor can be a useful indicator of genetic diseases such as schizophrenia and diabetes. Major histocompatibility complex, or MHC genes, are genes that help the immune system identify foreign substances in the body. A study by Klaus Wiedkind at the University of Bern in Switzerland found that differences of these MHC genes secreted through men's sweat glands can actually affect women's attraction ratings. They found that women preferred men with differing MHC profiles. Number two, sound two. Do you have a high-pitched or low-pitched voice? Susan Hughes and her team of researchers at Albright College found that regardless of gender, people were more attracted to those who had huskier or sexier voices. They found that people often lower their voice to indicate a higher level of physiological arousal, which may be why you find huskier voices more attractive. Number three, facial symmetry may play a role. Although beauty standards change depending on culture and period, facial symmetry is a constant measure of beauty. It's an evolutionary screening method that ensures safety and longevity for future children. While having a perfectly symmetrical face is impossible, the sum of tiny imperfections and how they balance each other out is what creates good facial symmetry. But it's important to note that an overexpression of those imperfections may be a sign of an ongoing disadvantage or potential handicap. Number four, similarity. Have you ever heard the saying, birds of a feather flock together? A meta-analysis conducted in 2008 by Montoya, Horton, and Kirchner found that those who shared similarities or believed they shared similarities with their partner found their partner more attractive. It's important to note that actual similarity only played a role in the early development of the relationship, while perceived similarity played a role in later stages. Number five, Self-assurance can win people over. Are you comfortable in your own skin? Do your heads turn when you walk into a room? Self-awareness is the confidence or trust in who you are, regardless of how you measure up compared to others. Those who are self-assured walk the narrow ledge between self-doubt and arrogance. You don't feel the need to compete or belittle others and instead are more willing to compliment others. This allows others to feel more comfortable around you. Number six. Eye contact. Do you tend to hold eye contact with your partner or do you always look away? A study in 1989 found that couples who maintained eye contact with each other reported stronger feelings of affection, passion, love, dispositional love, and liking for their partner. Making eye contact with someone shows intentionality and lets the other person know that you are alert, focused, and interested. Number seven, proximity. Are you aware that the more you spend time with someone, the more attractive they become? It's a phenomenon known as the exposure effect. You become more attracted to those who are always near you because they become familiar to you. A study conducted in 2006 surveyed married and long-term couples and found that 38% of these couples became acquainted through the same job, school, or church. It shows everyone's evolutionary tendency to gravitate towards the familiar. Number eight, mirroring. Have you noticed that couples tend to copy each other's body language? Perhaps they cross their legs at the same time or yawn simultaneously. This is because people who are attracted to each other tend to unconsciously mimic and mirror each other's movements. It's a sign of empathy, trust, and connection. And number nine, blushing. One of the last factors for attraction is blushing. While it can mean many different things, such as feeling shy, frustrated, or self-conscious, in the context of dating, it means that you're interested. Not only does it signal to your date 
that you're interested, but it has evolutionary roots as well. It mimics the after-sex flush that signals fertility, which can make you seem more attractive. Which signs of attraction have you noted in yourself or your partner? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, be sure to like and share it with those who might also be interested. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.